Hello, subscribers. What are you still doing here? I'm guessing most of you are cream puffs. Because I hit 100 subscribers after the Carmilla Season 3 Act 1 reaction. So, uh, you all cream puffs? You're probably mostly cream puffs. But, uh, yeah, I guess you're still here because uh, you're waiting for me to react to the movie whenever that comes out. And it's been three months, uh, pretty much exactly, since my last video, uh, Act 3. And, um, things have fluctuated. In the meantime, you know, two or three people coming and going, whatever. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I guess you're waiting for the movie. Or, if you've actually paid attention to my channel, uh, you're probably wondering where the Season 3 music video is, because uh, Season 1, Season 2, pre-Season 3 fun little thing. But, uh, yeah, where's that? Well, it's uh, here. Obviously, as you can see, I have a beginning and I have an end and no in-between. I just can't find the impetus to, you know, choose the clips and... At first I had two competing ideas on what I wanted to do in-between. And usually I would have tried one and the other and then decided what to do. And that didn't happen. I would have gone to something else for a while instead, like the remaining two Life is Strange music videos I have planned. I haven't touched those either. Or the, uh... Hold on. Yeah. You'll probably recognize this if you watched my Space Engineers video all the way to the end. Uh, that is supposed to be this... Deus Ex Human Revolution. Yeah, you know, the, these two tracks were too similar not to fiddle with. But uh, I wanted to. I had to play the game through because I've only got footage for like the first mission or whatever. Uh, and uh, you know, record and edit and put things, you know, do basically my own version of the trailer, I suppose. And I wanted to do that in time for the Mankind Divided release, but I didn't. And then Mankind Divided proved, um, disappointing, is one word for it. So yeah, no motivation or inspiration there. And the big project, the the Wolf Among Us Sin City style. Well, I did actually finish the majority of episode two. Uh, it was around here, I think. Oh, uh, Teddy alert. Yeah, fine. But whatever. Um, it was during this scene that I got sick of masking it. And I just moved on to you know, the next stuff. And then I came to this scene. And, uh, yeah. This bitch in a red coat with a red fingernails walking around gesturing Forcing me to mask every single fucking frame. Instead of, you know, like doing every three or five and letting the motion do the rest because it, it's, it's pretty good when things are moving slowly to fill in the blanks itself. But uh, I was burning out big time. So that took so long that I completely forgotten that I hadn't finished this scene. 
Uh, regardless, I decided to watch from the beginning. And I quickly decided that... Uh, I only chose Woody because I'd chosen the other guy last time. And I thought the wolf would choose this guy because this was the guy he was supposed to bring in, but my instincts were starting to tell me otherwise. Which means that Big B's instincts would have told him the same thing. Which means I would have to reshoot this scene with the other guy. But whatever, you know, yeah, I could do that. And then I came to this and uh, burnt out completely, totally, utterly. So yeah, who knows if I'm ever going to pick that up again. The problem is uh, 2016 mostly. I mean, Carmilla was uh, was a welcome respite, respite, distraction. One of the highlights, among many lowlights, including oh, David Bowie at one end, the triple whammy at the other. Fucking Brexit. But of course, the crowning turd in the tailpipe. Trump. Good grief. So yeah, I have lacked creative energy entirely in the last two months at least. There are only two things two things that I've even considered doing. That is a second Space Engineers video because uh, it hit beta and there are new textures to look at and coo over and bigger red dwarf, smaller starbug. And uh, a couple of iterations of white midget. And the other thing was uh, Critical Role fanfiction. Because I find I've, been, I've been consuming instead of creating. That's what I've been doing. I've been rereading Kim Possible fanfic. I've been reading Carmilla and Life is Strange fanfic. And I've finally got around to watching Critical Role. And uh, yeah, I'm a critter now. And I totally recommend it. Geek and Sundry. Yeah. Uh... But yeah, I, I think I should explain something. Uh, once I get good at something, I get bored with it. And for a while I hoped that's what had happened with video editing. But uh, I haven't wanted to do anything else either. Which is disturbing, because usually something else pops up. When I was growing up, I, I started learning piano. And, uh, I did the exams. I passed, you can pass, or you can pass with merit, or you can pass the distinction. I passed grade one with merit, and then I passed grade two without. And I didn't like that. And I resolved to pass an exam, a grade, with distinction. I did that at grade five. And then I got bored. There's eight grades. Six to eight are for people who are planning to do it professionally, you know, for a living. And, uh, while well, I supposed I considered myself capable, it wasn't really something I intended to do for work, you know. So, uh, yeah, grade five, the distinction. And then all that interested me was, uh, soundtracks, movie soundtracks. And my teacher was, uh, was, was uh, surprisingly accommodating you know, we started uh, doing that Beetlejuice could have made a duet out of that but before that got done uh, my mother got cancer and uh, well lots of family other family drama ensued as well uh, she didn't die that time but uh, after that was photography which I did at A-level and university. And then the cancer came back and my mother did die. Uh, that was like 20 years ago now. And my passion for photography, which I did intend to make a profession out of, uh, 
died as well. So after that, living alone for the first time, got my first PC, started playing games on it, and I was drifting for like a year after Mum died, and <clears throat> the next obsession turned out to be massively multiplayer online games, starting with EverQuest. I heard stories for a while, and then I saw in the store EverQuest, a whole bunch of expansions, all bundled in, all a cheap deal, you know. So I decided to see what all the fuss was about. And I got addicted in a uh, lifestyle sense it became my job. You know, wake up, have breakfast, log in, do this, that and the other, lunch, that, the other and this. Dinner, wind down by uh, sneaking into the human town and pickpocketing all the guards <laughs> before bed. Uh, yeah. And then Star Wars Galaxies came along, and I didn't have time for both, so I hopped over. And then the NGE hit, which swapped out the uh, unique profession system for a WoW clone. So well, everyone, everyone I played with quit after that. So I did too. And I wanted to see why everyone was calling it a World of Warcraft clone, so I switched to that. And I played that for a few years with a whole different bunch of people. And after Wrath of the Lich King, after we killed Arthas, you know, it was the end of his story. It started with Warc War uh, Warcraft 3, which was the start of his story. Ending it, well, Cataclysm just didn't have the same interest for me. So I quit part of the way through that. Tried a couple of other things for a while, you know, EVE Online, uh, Age of Conan. But, uh, yeah, I'd gotten bored with MMOs at that point. So, fan fiction was next. Triggered by Kim Possible. My niece and nephew were watching it one day, and I found it surprisingly amusing, so um, when I came back home, I uh, looked it up and I watched the whole lot, and... I am a total Kiko shipper. Uh, so, you know, if you go to Traherne on fanfiction.net, you'll find a few of those. And you'll either <laughs> love some of them or hate some of them, and the rest you'll find tolerable. <laughs> Didn't finish most of those, either. And after my writing muse left me, the video editing muse hit. And... Now we've caught up to the present. So. This is where I sit. I'm not happy about it. Nothing new has replaced it. I am in a permanent funk. So now that I've admitted it, I'm going to try and do something about it. Whether or not that will end up on YouTube remains to be seen. But yes, I will do a Carmilla movie reaction video whenever. So, cream puffs, at least you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs>